Hello you food weirdos, welcome back, I hope you're all doing well. Definitely a different video for me today, but this is bringing it back old school. If you've been with me a really long time, I used to do those grocery hauls for you guys, show you guys how to eat healthy, how to eat like on a student budget. I did a lot of this back when I was in college and it's been many years since then. This is basically a bonus video, a random ass grocery haul because recently I discovered Trader Joe's and it's kind of changed my life and I really wanted to share with you guys my favorite things from there and why I like shopping there. And it turns out that I ran this poll on Twitter to do this video because I thought, mm, this might be a little bit of a weird one. I don't think this is gonna get a good reception. But 87% of you guys said you wanted to see this video. So here I am showing you guys what I like to eat to stay trim and healthy. The reason I actually started shopping at Trader Joe's is because of you guys. I mean, my friends told me for so long to go, but I just figured, oh, it's just a cheaper Whole Foods and Whole Foods being so expensive. I just thought that Trader Joe's might be average prices, like the same as my local, more convenient grocery stores. That is not the case at all. As I discovered last week, I have basically been saving literally half the amount that I usually spend on my groceries and the produce is just so awesome. This is my receipt so for I would say 85 to 90 percent of my groceries for the week it only cost me 52 dollars. I usually spend upwards of 100 to 120 dollars a week at my local D'Agostino and yeah I just can't believe I was spending that much for one person. My biggest cost I feel like in New York is frozen fruit. I love to make smoothies and you know all that good stuff. I like to make like little froyo bowls as well with like some ice cream and fresh fruit. So I find that frozen fruit has been so expensive for me. One of my favorites to get is frozen cherries. These are so expensive in the grocery store and for a smaller bag it was costing me about eight dollars every time and I'd maybe only get about three servings out of that. This was only $3.50 in Trader Joe's, so I'm super happy to be saving like nearly half on that. Um, I've also got pineapple chunks. These chunks are nice and small, so they blend up really well. Love this in like a blueberry pineapple smoothie with some water. Got my frozen raspberries for a little bit more of a, a berry kick with those. And again, all those were like under $3 each and it's literally blowing my mind. I just can't believe I was wasting all that money shopping other places. It literally crushes me inside. The next thing I absolutely love to get and I eat almost every day, it's a multi-grain sourdough bread. So this is kind of like a brown sourdough. So it has all the nutrients of like whole wheat and whole grain, but it still has that like lovely sourdough texture. So I love to toast this and put like my poached eggs on it or avocado on toast. Yeah, I would highly recommend this. It's only about $1.30 or something, and I usually freeze half of the bag. I do also get most of my veggies at Trader Joe's as well. So I got organic broccoli, which is fab. I really eat a lot of broccoli. I got a small bunch just because I still have a quite a lot left over from earlier this week. And I eat a lot of broccoli, so I like to get organic when I can, just without all the chemicals. And the food industry in America is crazy, so you really have to like, try and get the best produce possible and I felt like because groceries were so expensive in the other places I was shopping I would like find myself compromising on the quality of my food sometimes and that like really really annoyed me. I have that. I've also got a big bunch of beautiful rainbow carrots which are like purple and all these like fun colors. I really like my food to be as colorful as possible and yeah I roast these up, I boil these up, whatever I feel like and these are a lot. They didn't have any single individual carrots so I'm gonna try and give myself a challenge of eating one carrot a day somehow and try and get through them all so there's no waste because I hate waste. I got one small onion because this month I've actually finally gotten over my fear of onions and now I really like them. <laughs> I got this chopped up butternut squash. I'm obsessed with butternut squash. It's totally replaced my sweet potato thing. I think this is so much sweeter and like it's so tender and delicious and like ooh, it goes all like caramelly and gooey when you roast it up and this I don't usually buy stuff already pre-chopped but this was only like 30 cents extra to get the chopped up version and usually in all the other stores I shop in it's like three or four dollars more if you get it chopped up so I was really happy that Trader Joe's don't charge that much extra for pre-cut veggies so it looks really fresh doesn't look like dried out or anything which I always watch out for as well because sometimes when you get pre-chopped shit it doesn't last as long so that looks good 
and I'll get through that pretty fast. I got a big bag of Fuji apples. Fuji apples, oh my god, are my favorite apples. I always had them in Malaysia growing up anytime um, I was visiting family, you get these really big ones. And they're just the crunchiest, sweetest apples and they always seem to taste good all year round. So if you like like a really bite kind of apple, I'd recommend Fuji. So I got a bunch of those and those are all organic as well, which I'm super happy about. I got a couple of different sauces and condiments and stuff like that. I got organic blue agave sweetener. This was one of the more expensive things that I bought. I think it was like maybe three or four dollars for this little jar, but I love agave. It's a plant-based sweetener so um it's kind of like honey or maple but i find those quite intense flavors this is a little bit lighter and it comes from a plant so i feel like you know you don't have to bug the bees and steal all their honey yeah i just find agave like nice and light and you can add it to your smoothies you can top your waffles or pancakes with it i adore it i also like to get organic ketchup when i can i usually get the heinz ones but i thought i'd give the trader joe's own brand a go so i got that and then something that i find really hard to get in new york i hope it's good but it's sweet chili sauce and this is again the trader joe's own brand but oh my god sweet chili sauce is so hard to find in new york i know you could probably get them in like asian stores and stuff but I just don't see them on like in most grocery stores and it's one of those things you actually really miss when you can't get it. Oh, I got the Trader Joe's uh, no pulp orange juice because I don't know, orange juice just really kills my sugar craving and I like to just dilute it with a bit of water, slice the lemon every single day, a little bit of a vitamin C hit. I got my eggs, which again were really reasonably priced. These are all organic eggs. 12 eggs i'll usually finish these up in a week and these are the large brown eggs and i think these were what were they they were 3.99 like that's for organic eggs in new york that is so cheap the minimum i ever pay for eggs in my local grocery stores is like five or six dollars and they're not even like the cage free organic ones they're just the standard brown eggs so to get the organic ones is usually seven or eight dollars so big saving there as well literally i feel like everything at trader joe's is just like half what i usually pay i'm in a fish mood this week um i have tried lots of different ways of eating like i've tried cutting out meat i've tried you know just going vegetarian and all that kind of stuff and i find that now i just play my shopping by ear if i feel like i need meat that week i'll have maybe four meat meals during the week i still don't consume like a ton of meat like i don't have it every single day and then some weeks i'm just pure vegetarian and i don't want anything else but vegetables so i just like to listen to my body and this week i've just been feeling in a little bit of a fish mood so um i got the herb dijon salmon which has two big fillets in it this was ten dollars and i would have saved money of course if i just got plain salmon and you know bought the dijon myself but i just figured you know what i'm just gonna try it because it's already prepped already uh, before buying like a big jar of Dijon so I'm gonna give it a go I'm sure it will be delicious um, and I know it's a good quality one it's from Norway so that's always good sticking with the fishy theme I got some prawns and uh, these are already cooked prawns because I have some linguine left over like pasta fresh pasta from last week so yeah I'm thinking of making like a lemony prawn like linguine pasta type dish something really light and fresh and I just bought them already cooked because um, I didn't see any smaller bags of the uncooked. I don't know where these are going to go in my freezer. They're such, such a big bag. It's going to take me like a month to get through these. While I'm at it, last week was my meat week where I felt like eating meat. I just kind of like didn't know what I wanted. So I bought a few things. I usually don't like to buy anything overly processed. Like I like to prepare my food myself so I know what's in it. But I was really like kind of stuck and in between last week. I kind of wanted to be vegetarian but kind of wanted to have a bit of meat so there was two things i did try that are not included but i thought i'd give them a shout out the pulled beef brisket and smoky barbecue sauce it's not amazing and it is microwavable i don't like the idea of microwaving my food but i'd give it like a five out of ten it was fine i put it on my sourdough and i was good to go and then i also tried these vegetarian soy corn dogs which were kind of interesting and um, i thought that some of you might be interested in it if you are vegetarian i've never had a proper corn dog before to me these just taste like i mean i mean i would imagine a corn dog to be just a standard hot dog with batter around it and that's kind of what these are they're not spectacular but if you're in a rut for what to have for dinner and you just want to throw something on with minimal prep 
they do the job, they fill the spot and one with a ton of veggies is usually plenty for me so you might want to give these a bash if you're kind of stuck for a veggie option. Oh and by the way they totally taste exactly like hot dog, like meat, it literally tastes like meat you wouldn't know as vegetarian. So thumbs up for that. On to the sweet stuff, I had to give this a go, I've been eyeing it up the last couple of times I went to Trader Joe's but it's the crunchy cookie butter and it's like a peanut butter mixed with crushed biscuits and gingerbread and I have a feeling it's going to be very addictive but I'm all about that nut butter life. I like peanut butter, I like Nutella and I just figured why not add crunchy, crunchy cookie butter to the mix. And then these are probably my favourite things that I get from Trader Joe's. These are the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Oh my god, these are like orgasmic, they're so good and they taste exactly like the Justin's peanut butter cups but those are so expensive. But yeah, these are just so much cheaper. There's like 10 in each of these and they're a dollar each. Like if I was to go and buy a pack of the Justin's brand at the store, which is kind of like a, a slightly nicer version, like more bougie version of the Reese's butter, nut cup, butter peanut butter cups, they are like $7 for a bag of those. So these are like so guilt free and I really have a hard time trying not to eat them all in one sitting. One of these will last me about two days. So they're a dollar each and they taste so good. Um, I used to actually make my own peanut butter cups with dark chocolate and like crunchy peanut butter. And I still think those are like the nicest because it's like real peanut butter in the middle but I can't really justify the effort of making my own when I can get them for a dollar at Trader Joe's. Ooh, I also got one of these and I've had one or two of these already and honestly, they're probably one of the most expensive things in the basket when you compare it to what I pay for everything else. But these Lara bars are really, really good. They're, this is the cherry pie one. And they're basically kind of like those naked bars that you have back in the UK, but this one has like dried cherry in it and oh, it just gives it this sweet tartness that those bars just need because just the plain dates and nuts on their own is a bit bland and a bit heavy so I love dried cherries I feel like they're nature's jellies and like sweet treats so really like these I think they're about 130 each um, and I can actually usually split one of these small bars into like multiple servings because they're quite like filling. There's a couple of things I don't get at Trader Joe's, like for instance, I really don't like their ice cream. So I stick with the good old Eddie's like classic American ice cream. And they also don't have a great range of lettuces, like all their lettuces are bagged and I don't like bagged lettuce, I just think it tastes kind of weird and it doesn't last as long. So I tend to get my favorite butterhead lettuce at my local grocery store. It's not that expensive because it's local. So that was it. That was all I got from Trader Joe's this week. I hope you weirdos enjoyed it in some twisted way and um, watching what I eat. But yeah, this is kind of like my standard diet. I usually make this stretch for the entire week because I'm pretty much a Frankenstein in the kitchen. I will make something out of anything. So yeah, for those of you wondering what I've been eating, I hope it's interesting for you. I hope it inspires you to eat clean and eat nutritiously. Regular programming will resume very soon. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video. I'll catch you guys in my next one. <laughs>